I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss an application on distance, speed and time. The question here is, a plane traveling in the same direction as the wind traveled 1120 kilometers in 7 hours. The return flight against the wind took 8 hours. Find the speed of plane and the speed of wind. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now, whenever you're doing word problems, the first step should be define your variables. It says find the speed of plane and the wind. So that gives you a hint. So we say let the speed of plane be let's say p and say let the speed of wind be let's say w right so these are our variables now we know when the plane is traveling in the same direction as when it is moving faster right so the speeds add up and if it moves faster it takes lesser time so it traveled 11 20 kilometers in seven hours on return the plane is going against the wind so this speed is p minus w and it is lower speed so less more time the plane has taken so that is what is confirmed from these values now let us form a strategy to solve such questions i prefer to make table of values and from them we'll make equations to solve right so speed distance and time so we are talking about three particular variables which are speed, distance, and time, correct? And we also know how they are related. Uh, this triangle is very important to understand their relation. Distance is equals to speed into time. So distance is speed into time, correct? So distance is product of speed and time. So we have distance, which is equal to speed into time. In our case, distance is in kilometers, speed is in kilometers per hour, and time is in hours, correct? And we have two scenarios. In one, the plane is going in the direction of the wind, right? So, so same direction. Okay. And the other case is against, let me write against wind, right? Okay. So plane is going against wind. That is the other one. Now, if the plane is going in the same direction, its speed is higher. And we're saying the speed is P plus W, where P is the plane speed, W is the wind. Distance being covered is 11, 20 kilometers, and time taken is seven hours. In the second case, same distance 11, 20 kilometers is covered in eight hours, However, the speed of the plane is lower. It is P minus W, right? So that kind of relates all these things. Now, from this relation, we can actually get two equations. We have two variables to solve for, and so these could be easily solved. Now, we need to find what is the speed of plane and the wind. That means we need to find speed, right? So how is speed related? From this relation, we know speed is distance over time. Is it okay? So this first equation gives us an equation, which is P plus W equals to, that is the speed, distance is 1120 divided by 7, right? The second equation gives us another equation, P minus W equals to distance of 1120 divided by 8, correct? So we get two different equations. We can use the calculator and see what this is equal to. 1120 divided by seven is equal to 160. And 1120 divided by eight is equal to 140, correct? So that is what we have. We can number these equations as equation one and equation two. Now the idea is to find plane speed and the wind speed. So we have P plus W equals to 160, P minus W is 140. 
So if I add these equations, what happens? If I add equation 1 and equation 2, clearly we get 2p here, ww cancels, right? So on adding, we get 2p equals to add them up, 160 plus 140, which is 0, 10, 3, 300, or the plane speed is 300 divided by 2, right? Which is 150, and the units are kilometers per hour. Once you get one speed, you can always substitute the value and get the other one. But in this case, it is actually simpler to subtract one from the other and find W also, right? So what we'll do is we'll do 1 minus 2, right? So if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, plane speeds cancel out, we get 2W, right? So in that case, we get twice the wind speed is equals to take away. So it is 160 minus 140, which is 20. So wind speed is 20 divided by 2 or 10 kilometers per hour, correct? So with that, we could solve the question. And now we can write down our answer, which is the plane speed equals to, in our case, 150 kilometers per hour and the wind speed equals to 10 kilometers per hour, right? So that is how such questions can be solved. So the idea here is to define the variables, set the relationships, make a table so that you can form equations. Once you have the equations, you could use elimination or substitution method to solve for the variables. We adopted the method of elimination in this particular case. Any method could have been used. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.